Hey everyone, Jay Raptor here, coming to you with Star Citizen at, uh, let me check my phone real quick, 1 o'clock in the morning, where I am right now. Um, I just got off of work, was about to go to sleep, but then I remembered the Star Citizen update is out right now for the public test universe. I've been waiting a bit to play this game. What we're in right now is the Hammerhead Corvette, I believe the first Corvette that they've added to the game, and I thought I would make a tour video, so bear with me and... Pray that I don't fall asleep in the middle of making this video. Uh, the Hammerhead Corvette is a fleet protector, meaning you keep it with the fleet to shoot down the bad things that are coming towards it. Uh, it is not all that. It, it, it's a large ship, don't get me wrong. I don't think it's the largest ship in the game. I think the Reclaimer still takes that. I could be wrong with that as well. I'm, I'm not a huge delver of information for Star Citizen. I just love looking at pretty spaceships. Uh, and this is one of them. It has a amazing rustic military look. It's for the last two ships we checked out the Reclaimer, which was really industrial, and the 600i, uh, which was pretty pretty luxurious. This one is compact, uh, very Spartan, only the essentials because it is a, a military craft. Um, still quite large, which is amazing. So we're gonna we're gonna start a tour here before I lose. Uh, my train of thought, which is already gone, but um, let, let's find a place to start here. We gotta find some roof signs. Actually, here, this is a good one. So, I, I walked through this ship once, got completely lost. So, here's hoping the second time, slightly more fortunate. I, I know for a fact, from experience, uh, this is a blast door, but if I open this, this is actually an airlock. So, we're gonna, we're gonna keep that closed. And I believe there's a should be an elevator button. This this is an ele <laughs> okay. So I'm I'm lost again already. Um, kudos to me. But we're we're gonna try to find the bridge real quick, I believe. But once again, amazing work on the ship. It looks pretty. Oh god, damn ladders! <laughs> it, it, it's an amazing looking ship. This is the bridge. We're floating over a, a wonderful planet. Uh, bridge is pretty simple. You get in. Actually, we'll, we'll get in the seat real quick so you can actually see the outside of the ship. It, it, it's named after the hammerhead. It looks like a hammerhead. It's it's rather sleek, very Corvette-y, you know? So this is the outside of the ship. It is, they always look so much smaller from the outside, but then you then you try to compare them to a person. Like there, there I am, and there's the ship. Hopefully I don't hit anything. So I should probably stop this ship before I do hit something. There you go. You can see the turrets adorning the sides, and that's what makes this thing a, a defensive ship. Pretty much place it where you need things to die, and it does the killing. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and get out of the cockpit. You can see all these fancy HUD mats. I, I really enjoy how they put the HUD on these um, little gritty areas. Let's go ahead and stop that, hop out of the seat, let our little hydraulics whisk us back to this crate on the floor, and enjoy our wonderful view, our view. Uh, let's, let's get to the next thing. I am fighting off sleep, I really am. Uh, do, 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 do. There's another ship I need to look at, but there's, there's no way I'm going to get to it tonight. So let's escape the cockpit. And try to really speed run this, to be honest. But okay, another elevator that actually might go out into space. Because I believe we're on the first floor. The ship has two floors. Now, originally, it was designated to only be a one-floor ship, but as with many ships in Star Citizen, to fit everything they needed, they, they widened it. So let's let's check out this. This is the engine room. Um, I have nicknamed it the particle effect room, or Maybe not obvious reasons. Uh, amazing particle effects, by the way, and they're they're kind of situational. Like I'll open this ramp, which, by the way, is a giant loading dock for the ship. Have that go out into the vacuum of space real quick. Uh, there it goes. Um, I don't think the engines are supposed to do that. To be fair, I think this is a sign that something is going wrong. Someone dumped all the fucking. Blue Ranch Doritos in the engine, and this is what happens. 
Uh, so there's a loading dock for ships, and you can actually see the particle effects are starting to just whisk outside the ship. Personally, I find that cool. Uh, here's one of the turrets. We'll, we'll check the turrets towards the end, and there's an observation deck up there, which now I have an excuse to go up there. Hit this, I believe. Elevator. We're going up. Um, hope you guys are enjoying so far. Uh, I can't tell if I'm making a good video because I, I'm really struggling to keep my eyes open. Um, here's a loading dock, as I was saying before, but uh, you have a wonderful window to look down at whatever your engineers are doing or if they're slowly being suffocated by the amount of horrific blue particle effects they're flying. It looks amazing, don't get me wrong, but it much. Here is the alien-esque cafeteria with a lovely sun space roof, depending on where the sun is located. Um, so you have water, coffee, and bean. I'm not, I'm not really gonna question what the bean is. I'll, I'll just let that be up to the imagination. We got the biggest damn microwave I have ever seen. Like, that's an industrial-sized microwave. A cooker, or cooking, and I, I think this is just a pantry to keep all your snickerdoodles. And I think that's it. I, I love all the infographic screens because it's a military ship. There are no entertainment TVs here. You just gotta stare at analytics all day. And there's not too much more for this floor. I believe there's an elevator here. So, eight. Don't necessarily know where this goes. Hopefully it's somewhere safe and not you know, space. Uh, as clearly marked on the floor, that is a turret. And we'll we'll check that right as we're ending or yeah, ending this video. So cargo engine room, we've checked that, bridge that way, we checked that as well. Let's walk around until we find oh here we go, captain's quarters. Yep. So a wonderful military aesthetic. You can really see yourself chilling out. I, I feel like there's far too many books in case of combat maneuvers. <laughs> um A lovely baseball. This is Really interesting play. I have no godforsaken idea what that is. Looks interesting. Got uh, open books and stuff, and a comfy seat. And probably one of the worst beds I have seen in Sturcis, and to be honest, that looks just like a slab of rock. I know it's probably like a foam mat or whatever, but ooh. Uh, I got a shower, toilet, and all your uh, human necessities. Some clothes. Now, there's a captain's quarter. There must be crew quarters. Probably. If I were the captain, distance away from me. So let's waddle around here until we find it. Yep, yep crew quarters. And I'm, I don't want to say it, but their beds look more comfortable than the captain's. Um, if you guys have seen the Idris in Star Citizen, uh, the beds remind me a lot of them. There's a lot less because the crew is smaller for this ship. Interesting nonetheless. Not much privacy. There, I think there's shutters on the side or something. Also, you gotta love these doors, which I actually want to point out something. That is thick as fuck. That is like a foot of steel or whatever space metal they use. Then another thing to keep your eye on are these blast doors that you will find all over the ship. So blast door here. We'll uh, scamper on over here to another important part of the ship here. Another blast door. What they are for, which I had to look up, is if a part of the ship gets decompressurized or depressurized in combat, it seals off like quarantine in the area so the entire ship doesn't, you know, deflate like a balloon. Um, no helpful thing. I, obviously, I wouldn't expect them to be functioning in game right now. Um, but, you know, maybe something to look forward to. Uh, I. I I think I covered it. It's a very sparse ship because it's very much a utility. It does a job, and that job is murder. <laughs> so, um, not too much in the, the way of creature comforts, but plenty of hallways to walk around and get lost in and potentially uh, have an alien encounter with. <laughs> but I think that concludes our tour. We'll go ahead and. This is a component room, with another giant door. I can touch this, but I believe it's still glitchy. Yep, that that doesn't bode well with my migraines. Power that off and then get off the pad. Oh Jesus! I 
think I just turned off the ship. Okay, well that's creepy as fuck. Now I'm, I I feel like I'm in night, <laughs> but alien isolation. Hello. Ah, oh, the particle effects are still chugging. Um. Nothing can stop them. I don't. They don't care if I turned off the damn ship. Oh God! Now, like here, let's just find a place to sit and like listen for a second. Yeah, it's spooky. I would. I. I am alone on the ship right now, and I don't want to be. I, I was originally gonna record this with friends, but they're asleep like normal individuals. Uh, I had one other, but uh, he had some problems with his mic, so I am here alone. I swear to God, I just heard another set of footsteps. I want to go turn back on the power, to be frank. Okay. This turned into a horror movie really quick. I don't need this in the middle of the night. I'm gonna go get in a giant gun three times my size. Scratch that. About 30 times my size. And I'm not gonna leave it for the rest of the night. So this is the giant motherfucking turret that makes the hammerhead the hammerhead. Um, it's pretty much just four massive laser guns. Because what else would you need? Okay, so I forgot for a second that I had turned off all the power to the ship. So I had to turn back on this turret. And it, it that just scared the fuck out of me. I just fired that gun, but... If your ship gets hit by this thing, it will be a very bad day. And a good day for the hammerhead. Probably a good day for your, your formation of ships. So, I think that concludes our wonderful tour. You can actually see missile racks mostly on the top. I've rotated the ship, unfortunately, to the dark side of where the fuck we are. Um, I'm glad you guys stopped by. Um, I'm not going to edit this right now. I'm going to go the fuck to sleep. Uh, when I wake up in the morning, I will try to edit it, and then whenever it comes out, it comes out. I hope you guys are enjoying it whenever it comes out. Um, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I might do a video on the other ship they added, which is the Valkyrie dropship. Um, it depends. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening, morning, or whatever the time of day it is. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye!